our worlds have been just turned upside down and it'll just never, life will never be the same without her. Angela Harris, the mother of Anaya Blanchard says she was the glue that held the family together. <sighs> Anaya was a, such an amazing person and uh, an amazing daughter, an amazing friend and she kind of was like everybody's favorite. And now, since her life was taken in such a violent way, the family says it's hard for them to live day by day. I have an uncle right now who uh, has always been like a protector of the family and because he's so upset that we had him, haven't even gotten to bury Anaya yet, he's not at peace and so it's caused him to have a lot of problems. At the time of his arrest, the man charged in Anaya's death, Ibrahim Yazid, was out on bun awaiting trial on charges of attempted murder and kidnapping. He should not have been out. It shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have happened to my daughter. My daughter should be alive right now. Harris says she'll never stop fighting for Anaya, which is why she's pushing a bill that will make it harder for violent criminals to get out on bail. With Anaya's law, if you've been charged with a violent crime, um, the DA can hold another hearing or the prosecutor can hold another hearing and present evidence as to why that person should not get a bond. Harris says although they are still waiting for justice to be served, when the time comes, it still won't make the pain go away. But that's not going to be a day that's going to make or break how I'm feeling. I'm always going to be not okay. She says the family will finally get some closure as they lay Anaya to rest next month. In Birmingham, Xavier Harris, WVTM 13.